What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most powerful single shot weapons in all of Fallout 76. We have the compound bow. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is our three star legendary compound bow that we're using for the video and we will be testing it with a full health and a bloody build. But the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the VATS critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. Over in the mods, we're using the iron sights, plasma arrows, and the default appearance. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all powerful compound bow builds, we're first gonna start off with the full health build, then we'll swap to the bloody build, but our first targets on the list are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And our first target on the list is this guy right here, we got a 61%, and we missed, we have an 81%, and we've missed, we have a 95%, oh, oh, 95%, and we hit, there we go, 739. 997 that is a ton of damage uh oh uh oh we've got ourselves a suicide let me just there we go 782 oh we're missing we're missing 724 he died instantly 1188 now we got a floater 345 474 oh super mutant warlord what are you gonna do where are you running to brethren i don't think you're gonna get away today no way jose oh god we're missing with these headshots but there we go 875 1,887, holy crap, and this is with a full health build. 915. Oh, brotherins, y'all wanna feel the power of the compound bow? Let me just uh, shoot him in the right leg. There we go, 443. 701, what about outside of that real quick? Here we go, face shot. 446, 575. Do we have any more super mutants that wanna feel the wrath of the compound bow? Oh, oh, we've got a guy right here. Let me just, uh, bat shot in the face. 1,889. Making our way back through the West Tech Research Center, but this time we are our bloody build. And here's our first target. Let me just lock onto his face. There we go. And we missed a 71. Can you believe it? What about this 95? There we go. A 915. 947. Hello, fool. 1,010. We're definitely going to get a little bit more damage with the bloody build. However, if we do get hit a couple times, we may die. So we got to be extremely careful. We're gonna shoot this guy right there in the door, so look at that. 994. Holy crap. What about this guy? Face shot. 1010. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get away from me, stupid doggy. And they found me somehow. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Let me just back up. Oh Jesus, I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh god. We gotta watch out for that health. Heal, heal, heal. Woo wee. What am I stuck on? This stupid board. Uh oh, this is not good. Just let me out of the board, please. You know what? You know what? Bring it on. If I'm cornered, I'm cornered, but I'm still gonna kill all you stupid super mutants. 779? 1697? Just let me go, you stupid board, please. Please. Do we have any more? Is there any more super mutants? I think not. Let's move on to our next target. The next target on our list to fill the wrath of the compound bow is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Timmy. We're gonna try to hit him with this 56 right here. And we missed, we got a 76%. And we missed, what about this 95%? And we hit with a 637. Let me get a little bit closer, that way we know we're gonna hit him. Okay, here we go, here we go, fantastic. 1,149, 1,134. What about this VATS critical? 1,769. Again, that is a ton of damage with a full health build. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Jimmy, but this time we are our bloody build, and we're gonna shoot him right in the face. Look at that, we got 95, can we hit it? And of course we can, we got an 825 there. There we go, 1,399, we've got ourselves a VATS critical lined up. 2,378, oh my god. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 diseased Myler Queen that goes by the name Ginny. Ginny the Crab, and we're gonna shoot her in the face. Oh, we missed. There we go, 356. 1,091, we're gonna keep backing up though because we do not want to get hit with that poison. Woo wee, dodge that. 593, 417, we got a VATS critical. 1,001, uh-oh, uh-oh, she's coming this way. Just gotta get back a little bit more. There we go, fantastic, a 593. 1,027, oh god, how does she know exactly where I'm at? Oh god, we're missing, we're missing. Here we go, 593, get out of the bushes. 417, 593, we got one more shot, can we hit? And 1,100, and this Myler Queen is no more. 
We've made our way to another level 100 Myler Queen, and this one goes by the name, dare I say it, Mrs. Krabs. But this time, we are our bloody build. So we're gonna start by shooting her in the face. There we go, we got a 460. 664, we gotta dodge left and right, because if we get hit with that poison, we are gonna die. 1110, I'm gonna get over here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, get out of the bushes. There we go, 508. 652, we have a Vats critical lined up. 1110. Oh my god, how does she know exactly where I'm at? Oh no, 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 no. Woo wee. That poison is extremely deadly with bloody builds. Here we go. 508. 819. Mrs. Krabs, I need you to chill out and stop coming over here. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. 723. We've got one more shot, hopefully, with the vets hit. There we go. 508. And oh god, sir. Uh, I I'm sorry, I just killed your queen. And now you're also dead. Over in the builds, these are the base stats that make up our in-game full health archer build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game full health archer build. Starting off in strength, we have 8, and this we can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have bandolier at 2 stars. Ballistic weapon ammo weighs 90% less. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this we can have concentrated fire at 3 stars. Vats target limbs. Focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We have all the archer cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have bow before me at 3 stars. Your bows and crossbows ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. Over in endurance, we have 11 and this one can have ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have life giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Phil Surgeon at 1 star. Stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this one can have Gunsmith at 3 stars. Guns break 30% slower, and you can craft tier 3 guns. We have First Aid at 3 stars. Stim packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have cover operative at 3 stars. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have escape artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have gun fu at 3 stars. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% then 30% of damage to your next 3 targets. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Vats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have 4 leaf clover at 2 stars. Each hit vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have starchy genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. We have critical savvy at 3 stars. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. And we have ricochet at 2 stars. Gain a 12% chance to deflate back some of your enemies range damage no pvp. Now over in the bloody build, these are the base stats to make up our in game bloody to archer build so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is you start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game bloodied archer build. Starting off in strength, we have 8, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have bandolier at 2 stars. Ballistic weapon ammo weighs 90% less. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this one can have concentrated fire at 3 stars. Vats target limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We of course have all the archer cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have bow before me at 3 stars. Your bows and crossbows ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. Over in endurance, we have 11 and this one can have ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have life giver at 1 star. Gain a total plus 15 to your maximum health. We have kin fiend at 1 star. Any kims you take last 30% longer and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. We have radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Phil Surgeon at 1 star. Stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this one can have Gunsmith at 3 stars. Guns break 30% slower, and you can craft tier 3 guns. We have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 15 
14 and this one can have action boy at three stars action points regenerate 45 percent faster we have covert operative at three stars your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50 percent sneak attack damage we have escape artist at one star sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth we have gunfu at three stars that swaps targets on kill with a 10 percent to 20 percent then 30 percent to damage your next three targets we have adrenaline at five stars gain a plus 10 percent to max 60 percent to damage for 30 seconds per kill duration refreshes with kills over in luck we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess at three stars 15 percent to bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste we have better criticals at three stars vats criticals now do plus 100 percent to damage we have four leaf clover at two stars each hint vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter we have starter genes at two stars you'll never mutate from rats and right away will never cure your mutations we have critical savvy at three stars critical hits now only consume 55 percent of your critical meter we have serendipity at one star while below 30 percent health gain a 15 percent chance to avoid damage no power armor and we have ricochet at one star gain a six percent chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage no pvp over in the legendary pair cards these are the legendary pair cards that help make up our in-game archer builds starting off with intelligence we have that card maxed out we have endurance maxed out strength maxed out luck maxed out follow through maxed out and funky duds at one star these are the legendary pair cards now let's get to my armor buffs and mutations starting off with our full health armor set what we're using is a full set of vanguard's gear which grants up to plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health and since we are a high health build this is absolutely amazing over in the bloody build armor set what we're using is a full set of unyielding gear which gives us a gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health and when you're a low health bloody build this is absolutely amazing over my backpack what i used is my trusty normal backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight over in the under armor what i'm using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus four to our strength a plus two to our perception and a plus four to our endurance over the mutations these are the mutations that we use for the build we have a general reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor herbivore marsupial skull skin and speed demon over in the buffs starting off with our food buffs we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max ap blight soup to get a plus 100 to our critical damage carrot soup to get a plus four to perception and of course a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase over in our kim buffs we're using overdrive to get a plus 13 percent to our critical damage and psycho tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception damage resist increase and a plus 11 percent to our damage if you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more i also made a comparison video comparing the galling laser versus the ultra sight galling laser so if you want to check it out i'll link it the screen right now you see that that is my laser video